You should trust your own instinct, and if something doesn't feel right, then you better get out of there, even if it hurts the other person's feelings, and decide what is right, and not let others manipulate you, or even trick you into doing things you didn't want to do, cause you're going to regret it afterwards, and the worst thing you can do is live your life with regrets. This is Landrider 7, aka LR7 Land here, visiting a place where I could get some fresh air and think about the things that happened in my life, or better yet, to reflect on it. As Mount Charleston had become more and more of an escape from the routine of day to day life, for me at least, it used to be where I would go with my parents and walk around, take a hike, and admire the beauty of this site. And it only takes an hour to drive from Las Vegas. When winter comes, you're more likely to see snow covering these parts where the altitude is roughly around 6,000 feet above sea levels, which makes quite a difference compared to the desert. It's close by, so when you want to cool off in an otherwise really hot summer month where temperatures are ridiculously high, going above 100 degrees Fahrenheit, then Mount Charleston is the closest place where the temperatures are a lot cooler. It's also a good idea to bring a sweater around when it turns night, but then you better have a flashlight with you cause it can get really dark and dangerous during this time. Also, it's the 8th tallest mountain in Nevada and the go-to place for Las Vegas locals to visit. That being said, I'd like to talk about a few other things that have been going on for quite a while actually and it's not to mention that every time I want to climb or even take the time to forget about the things that I wish I could go back in time to resolve but unfortunately that won't be possible since no one really has the ability to travel through time just to fix their mistakes. It's either you fix them now or you simply live with the fact that this happened and now you'll have to deal with it. So many different things that I wish could have been different but due to circumstances and how things are it wouldn't have been possible otherwise. Perhaps life was never the best for you or anyone. I know it wasn't perfect on my end and there was a lot of things that I wish I could have experienced but never got to live that normal life that everyone else seems to have. Perhaps I never got to really hang out with a lot of people during my time. Actually, even though there were a good number of people that I have encountered here and there, unfortunately, those people have their own lives and they are often just there. So I don't have to go alone, but they're more like acquaintances, so they don't exactly count as people that I can talk about things like you normally do when you do have a friend. But what is a friend that doesn't keep their word or even being downright dishonest about things? You could lend them some money, but if they don't fulfill their word or never gives back what they owed, can you really trust that person? Can you really take their word for it after that? Probably not, and you shouldn't have continued lending them anything afterwards. People can surely abuse you in many different ways, one of which is to say that they would like to do something for you, though so you made a deal and the next thing you know you have been scammed and that person decides to run away and probably not contact you because they know they tricked you unless you have some sort of means to track them down you probably may never see that one thing again in that case you sure better be careful on who you really trust whether it's a stranger that you met someplace or someone that you've been friends 
with for nearly half your life but then you should always be skeptical on who you hang out with after a few signs of dishonesty as much as you'd really like to help somebody out or be that one person to be able to provide it's become very difficult to even lend anything if you constantly get asked for for favors or even borrow anything only so they end up not returning what they owed or what they even said they were going to do in return and at that point makes it very difficult to even trust anyone but I've learned that the heart it's already bad enough that I had friends who I thought they were my friends run away with their broken promises and whatnot there is a reason why most guys have a difficult time approaching women. There's a lot of people out there that have different ideas on what women want and how to get them. Some say you have to give them what they want 100% of the time in order to win them over. Others suggest that you have to be rich, handsome, or even both. That couldn't be much farther from the truth. As a matter of fact, most women usually wait for the other guy to approach them unless you have a way of being able to talk to them with ease it's either a hit or a miss other times if you show any signs of insecurities they are certainly not going to want to talk to you even avoiding you altogether and at that point you just lost her it's been said that most introverts are the ones that have the most difficult time getting anywhere with anyone. It may have been the case on my end back in the past. However, it turns out that it is possible as an introvert to at least have them interested in you to show a sense of mystery or to have something interesting on them or better yet become more approachable by being relaxed and simply looking like you're doing your own thing because the more relaxed and the more you take the time to be yourself the better your chances could be but that doesn't change the fact that you probably should make a move even if it's just your first one the rest will take its place afterwards you can choose to become a complete incel and despise all women just because you're not willing to improve yourself and blame them for your own downfalls or you can do something about your flaws fix yourself up maybe even change your attitude and maybe just maybe things would turn out very differently as long as you haven't already done the damage first impressions can go a long way the consistency of being connected online has never been much higher or even a major part of our life where we always have to know what's going on in the world or what's going on with others or even decided to make a post in order to receive validation by strangers that you probably have never met because somebody pressed a button to acknowledge their existence rather it's a picture of their food or the ever desire to take the selfie and show it to the world and on top of that put a quote down has nothing to do with that selfie just so you don't seem to be craving for attention so it's see getting on social media is like trying to see what other people wants you to see you can show them anything you want and they will only show you the best parts of their lives they can do that as much as they want and you can tell that some people really really want some validation they will go to great lengths just to get some of that temporary happiness only so it gets forgotten 
forgotten shortly after. But the question here is, do people really care what you have to say or what you have to show when everyone else is doing the same thing? A never ending cycle of constantly posting what you're doing with yourselves? Probably not. And it is easy to see why that would make you depressed and encourages narcissism and can sometimes make you question why is everyone else's lives are better than your own but what if i told you what they post or what people portray themselves aren't truly what they seem to be as they too aren't always having the best of times as they like to portray you could be a single mother and show your child over the internet to complete strangers in order to get validation which that's probably not even a good idea to do in the first place or you'd like to express how much you love your non-existing partner or even if that partner does exist in your life either they got fed up with you or things didn't work out afterwards and you pretend like that person never existed but who am i to say otherwise in the end most people will just post what they felt like posting but often means little to nothing if it's not of their own creation and all they're doing is sharing content that is probably not even their own and at the end of the day no one will even remember what you even posted about and you can see why social media gained its reputation for being the way it is talking about some lengthy commentary that switched from my trip to other more personal subjects it's not something i normally do or talk about but i felt like i needed to bring this up because who knows maybe it might help somebody one day but that being said i'll stop from here and continue where i left off till then this is lr7 logging out